Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth, and boy, oh boy, is it going to be stormy today, Candy. It is already getting there. I hear the rain pellets falling. Candy, I took the dogs out at 4.15, and it was coming down, so... yeah. It's going to be um, windy, too. Oh, very my windy. trio of happy dogs. Uh, they were very wet and smelled like wet dog when I brought them in. Yum. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I am expecting uh, heavy wind. Like most people, I had to take everything outside that might cause damage or blow away and, you know, lay it down or push it somewhere where it's not going to do damage. It's going to be it's going to be a tough day today for sure. Yeah. The weather will. That's okay. Yeah. Because I'm not doing anything. Yeah, well, you you know, we know you're not <laughs> we know you're not leaving. You have it easy. No kids at home, no uh, dogs at home. You, you know, you're uh, And a partner who does things. Yeah, he did like I mean, he likes to cook and clean. It's it's amazing. He's been sanitizing. He washed the potholders. He sanitized them. He sanitized the entire kitchen the other day. Um it's crazy. Yeah, he he goes off on these things. So, yeah. He's giving the rest of us a bad name. It's terrible. He is. He is because he is village and you have no idea. Uh, Brian, you think you can do this to us, to the men who are expected to sit around and play on their phones and watch TV and you're going to go stray and start cleaning pots? Are you kidding me, Brian? And then he was uh, upset about the, you know, the uh, turn on the water one, the turn, uh, whatever you call them. <laughs> The, the what? I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, when you turn on and off the water, the handles, right? He was upset. They had they were clean. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, you're supposed to, uh, you know, Lysol down doorknobs and handles. Oh, he's and... scrubbing, Lysoling. He's doing it all. Mm. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because it keeps us from talking about the hard news of coronavirus and how... Good, because I'm sick of the hard news. Is there any uh, soft news out there? Uh, well, we'll get to that. I'll try to find some happy news for you. Um, I will tell you, though, uh, real quick, the death toll in the U.S. passed 20,000 on Saturday. It's the highest of any country in the world. And um, despite the warnings, plenty of Americans packed into churches for Easter yesterday, like in Kentucky, where cops had to take down license plates and, and get those people to self-quarantine for the next two weeks, which you know they're not oh, going to do. This is what is spreading it and keeps on spreading it. I don't understand. There were so many virtual ceremonies they could have watched just I should say, services they could have Agreed. watched yesterday. I was watching one Agreed. for a few seconds. Now, you mentioned, uh, back to your fun stuff, Brian cleaning and doing pots and things like that. Let me give you a couple pot of... holders. Oh, pot holders, right? Let me tell you uh, a couple of fun things that happened over the weekend, including yesterday. You know, the weather was absolutely gorgeous, Candy. Gorgeous. I didn't even go outside, but I believe you. It was gorgeous, and uh, we had a bunch of these plastic eggs, you know, so uh, that, you know, you get little candies in and stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, we went outside, and uh, I hid like uh, 50 of them and the kids ran around and tried to find them we did a little easter egg hunt that was fun um elijah wore his little bunny ears all day and the Aww. weather weather was just uh, gorgeous i mean i sat there it was uh, beautiful it really was beautiful it was it was really nice to get outside um the kids schooling starts today now they've been doing homeschooling for a while but officially um like hardcore learning of new subjects starts today. The last couple weeks for Abigail and Elijah for elementary school were a lot of review. Leah's been doing new subjects for quite some time, for like three weeks at least already. But today, you know, I had to sit Abigail and Elijah down yesterday and say, listen, uh, summer break is over. Real school starts tomorrow, so get ready. We've got... Oh, real school. Like, like you know... Zoom classes with new math and reading and things. So the kids are, uh, you know, after our show, I'm going to be waking them up. Let's go. Breakfast, brush teeth, get dressed. It's time for school. So we have that going on today, Candy. And as you see, it's, you know, I'm working double duty. We've got uh, radio and we've got homeschooling. So I'm so proud of you. Well, listen, I want you to uh, feel for me while you're sitting there with your feet up watching whatever you're watching, you know? Jackie says that it's not quite the same teaching virtually, and she doesn't feel emotionally or physically connected to the students, and it makes her sad. 
Well, listen, I, I agree. It's it's probably not. They try their best. They're doing great. The teachers are great. They try their best. <coughs> oh, excuse me, Candy. <coughs> I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> Got a little something going on. Wow. Yeah. You better. We better spray you down. Um, yeah, it's not uh, necessarily the same, but the teachers are doing their best. You know, our school district had a teacher parade on Friday. What was that? I thought about that. Yes. It was amazing. Um, we stood outside with signs and we had uh, text updates as to where they were in the route. And there oh. must have, Candy, there must have been 100, 150 cars minimum oh. that came rolling down the street. They, yeah, no, it was amazing. They had signs. Um, they were honking horns. They were sticking That's their beautiful, heads really out of windows. Gorgeous. Oh. We, we distanced. We stood on the driveway, and it was great. It was really, you know, I was getting a little emotional. It was actually really great to I see all the teachers. I get a little emotional right now, yeah. It was nice to see the faces of uh, everybody. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.